Hi, I'm Fiona McCallion. Before we start, I want to be very clear with you, um, so that we're both clear about this. When you're tapping, you're taking full responsibility for your own health and well-being. So if you don't want to take responsibility for your own health and well-being, stop watching now. Today, I'm just going to show you how to tap because all my other videos take it for granted that you can. So now I'm going to show you to go through it slowly for you. Okay, so first of all, we start with a setup statement. Now the setup statement is designed to address that part of your subconscious that is getting a payoff. So if you, for example, are a little overweight, perhaps. Your payoff might be that if you're at least overweight, you won't have to deal with all of those sexual advantages from hunky men. And although some of us might like that, um, for others, it's threatening. That might be threatening. So if we stay overweight, we're at least somewhere where we feel safe. Okay, so another reason might be that although we have some focus, um, some idea of where we're going to go, um, we actually don't want to go there because at least if we don't, um, we're safe and we, we're not opening ourselves up to disappointment. It's a risk. So the way that we do this is we start, before we do any tapping at all, we start with a setup statement. And where we're going to do it is on the karate chop um, point here. Now, another way of thinking of this is the friendly point, because think about it. When you shake hands with somebody, that's where their hands end up. So it's your friendly point. So you're being friendly to your system. Okay, so we're gonna tap on it. Some people tap with the tips of their fingers here. Um, I like to, to tap with the flat of my hand. It's a choice, you can't do it wrong, as long as you feel it, but don't hurt yourself, okay. And as we're doing that, we're going to say, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. Even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then we go into the tapping routine, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, the reason that we're telling ourselves while we're tapping that we deeply and completely love and accept ourselves is so that our subconscious gets the idea that it's okay to have, to have the problem um, and that relaxes it and um, addresses the resistance so that the resistance is lowered and we can then address the rest of the problem with our rounds of tapping. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to tap, okay? So, first of all, we're going to start at the eyebrow. Now, it's just where the hair of the eyebrow starts. So if you put your finger along your nose and then turn it 90 degrees, that is where you're going to be tapping. There, where the hair starts. So if you just tap about oh, six or seven times, there we go. Next, we're going to move on to the side of the eye, here. It's just on the edge of the bone where your eye is. We don't want you to be poking your eye out. So it's just to one side, okay? So there, six or seven times just to, you should be feeling it but not hurting yourself. And the next one, under your eye. It's about an inch under your pupil. And again, it's on the bone, not the eye. And we'll just tap under the eye, six or seven times. Now please bear in mind, it's not a spell. So if you don't quite get seven times, if you do a few less or a few more, that's okay, you can't do it wrong. The next one is under the nose. Now, this point is actually between the teeth. 
but we're not going to go poking about in our mouths. We're just going to tap from the outside. So it's under the nose, six or seven times. If you find yourself yawning or sighing, that's a good sign. Next, the uh, chin point. We call it the chin point, but actually it's in the crease of the chin here. And again, it's between these two teeth at the front, but we're going to do it from the outside because it's less messy that way. And again, six or seven times. There we go. Now, this next one um, is just in the corner where the collarbone and the breastbone meet. Um, if you, there's a little U shape just in the center here, and if you move your finger, maybe an inch to one side, okay, you can feel that you're right in the corner there. It's kind of awkward, so what we generally do is make a fist and tap. You don't have to get it precisely right because the vibration will carry into the points. But, and this way you're getting both points, which is nice. You don't have to, but you can. The next one is under the arm. Now, um, with a girl, it's on your bra strap, basically. Now, you can either tap with the... Um, with the points of the fingers, right on the ends, or, as I like to, because then it's easier to get all of the meridian points under the arm, the flat of the hand, and just here, on your bra strap. It's about four inches below the armpit, and for a man, it's on a level with your nipple, under your arm. And again, six or seven times, but you'll notice I'm doing more and I haven't dropped it, so that's fine. And then the top of the head. Again, I like to do it with the, um, the flat of the hand because it's easier to find all the points that way. But if you prefer, you can do it like this, like a big spider on top of your head if you want to. And if you have a problem with that, we'll tap on that later. Okay, so, and then we just start again. That's the shortcut method that I use all the time. If you would like to learn the long method, the Fulgamut, as we call it. There's a downloadable free manual at Gary Craig's website, which is www.emofree.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.